the second time in three years, the World Series trophy resides in the NL East as the Braves broke through and claimed their first title since 1995. Three games under 500 on August 1st, Atlanta went 36 and 18 down the stretch and dominated the postseason. If they hope to repeat, they'll have to fend off a trio of challengers that all expect to take a big step forward in 2022. The Phillies believe that they have the top to bottom talent to unseat the champs. The same goes for a reloaded Mets squad that was in first place as late as mid August before fading late. The Marlins have a dynamic rotation that will make life uncomfortable for the rest of the division. Only the Nationals, two years removed from their own title, seem unlikely to threaten the Braves, instead playing equal parts spoiler and cautionary tale of how fleeting the ultimate success can be. Opening day festivities wrapping up, and we'll be back to get this season started right after this. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the New York Mets. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. All right, partner, ready to go. Always a pleasure to get things started with you on opening day. Well, happy new year, buddy. And anyone that's involved in baseball, even though it's not January 1st, this is the start of a new year. Every team has playoff hopes. I love this time of the year. I'm excited to get things going. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Michael Franco. The third baseman, number six, Michael Franco. Well, who would have thought Jacob DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back to back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Spin rates outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Next offering upstairs. Yeah, Boog, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that in 2018 with 217. And the sub-2 ERA, just impressive at 1.70 to lead the league. The pitch. A swing and a soft liner. Alonso makes the catch, and there's one down. Now back. And now it's Victor Robles up to him. He was a strikeout victim his first time. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Swings and misses, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. The batter number one. And here is Cesar Hernandez. Cesar Hernandez. And a pitch. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. And a foul ball. He stays alive. pitch 
way high. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Line to left. Nice grab on the run. And that's the third out. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Top of the order, two up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Back here in Queens, bottom of the sixth inning. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Hard hit, knocks it down. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Starling Marte up to him. Corbin back to work. And there's the strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Here comes a pitch. Swing at a chopper to Hernandez. That's one. On the first, but it pulls him off the bat. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. And here it comes. And ball one. And the 1 0. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game the pitch out. Kicks and deals. Marte of the move. Next offering is fouled back. Marte stands at first with one out. On the ground left side. Six, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Juan Soto. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. Well, Juan Soto had a huge 2021 season, just one point shy of a thousand for OPS. Absolutely a monster at the plate. This guy's pretty special. Cut on and missed, struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Nelson Cruz getting ready to hit. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Next offering upstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss.
Next offering is fouled back. Stays alive. The pitch. That one missing inside. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, Josh Bell. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. And the Nationals gone in order. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here at City Field. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And there's the strike. That one misses. And that's ball one. The next pitch misses two and two. They tried to get him to go chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Chases in the dirt, slider there. In time, and the drop third strike leads to the first out. Here's Mark Canna. The wind of the pitch. And that's outside. Call a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. And that one almost got him. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. The next offering misses, and it's a full count. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Hernandez over to first in time, and that quickly two away. Now it. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. Wide of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. The pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Two outs, runner at first. And now the DH, J.D. Davis. And the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The 1-0. And yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And the count one and one. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. Here's a one-two. 
on the ground. To second, Hernandez. That ends the inning. Mets leave one, and we are still scoreless. Yeah, I do. We're at the top of the eight, and now the catcher comes up to him. Hebert Ruiz. The wind of the pitch. That misses, and that is ball one. Next pitch misses. Ball two. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. That one in for a strike, two and two. Got him looking. Now one away. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Here's Lane Thomas. That one's in there on one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next offering is downstairs. On the ground to the left. Toss to Alonzo. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. The battle, number three. Alcides Escobar digs in down. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Over to first. That's the third out. Enough to do it for Washington. Still no score. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Way to go. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Next offering is in for a strike. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Austin Bolt up and throwing. Machado getting loose as well. Going two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. On the ground to first. He steps on the bag. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eight. So he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. James McCann in now. And he deals. Good eye right there. Just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next one misses. Now three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three-one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The three-one in for a strike. Full count. Swing and a base hit. The center fielder, number nine, Brandon. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. One for three. And the pitch. And takes low for ball one. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. On the ground, could be two. 
Hernandez over to second double play what a twin killing to end the inning well the second baseman made that one look easy great feed to the shortstop shortstop completes the play they get out of a jam and they end the inning back here in Queens all set to start the ninth in this one here's the third baseman Michael Franco DeGrom back to work there's the strike He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Next offering misses. Now one and two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. The center field, Victor. Here's Victor Robles. The pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. So the batting order turns over. Cesar Hernandez digging in for the Nationals. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run. Stands at first. Next pitch is outside. In the air, right field. That one carrying. It's gone! Cesar Hernandez goes deep. His first homer of the year, and the Mets jump in front. It's 2 nothing. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. The batter. Juan Soto the down. One. That one fouled off. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. Now that Nelson Cruz digging in for the Nationals. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Strike two. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. The other way, and he beats the shift. Now he turns and heads for second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run homer. It's now a two-nothing ball game. You softly cause you're like the gas tank of a Mr. Softies in the wind that ain't feeling you. See every time And welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Starling here Marte. Here and right here, here comes. Starling. Pitch misses. Ball one. The lefty closing in on a hundred pitches. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Kyle Finnegan, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Machado getting cranked up as well. 
the one one that misses the zone two balls and a strike next one is off the plate and that's ball three and that's ball four Nobody out. Lindor is a chance to tie it. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And the pitch. Marte on at first. Nobody out. Next offering is down low. Wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they are into it. They're trying to will this club back into this ball game. Next offering is down low, and it's two and one. The tying run at the plate. Right through there for a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Marte of the move. Swing and a slow roller. Fires to first, and that is a big first out. Here's Pete Alonso. So right-handed slugger at the plate. Chrissy is surprised that the lefty is still in there. Extremely. I mean, you've got arms down in the bullpen, and there's somebody down there that can match up, try to get out of this jam. In there for strike one. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. And here's a slow roller. Escobar handles the chance. The throw to first. Now only one out remaining. Now no left here. Mark. Mets down to their final out. So up next for New York, Mark Canna. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The pitch. There's the strike. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. That misses. Ball one. Just one out away. Try to close it out. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Down to their final strike. Stays alive. Swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Back here at the ballpark, we're in the eighth with one man out. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton here in the booth. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a 
relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Here comes a pitch. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. One out. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Got it! Huge strikeout there. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Tough situation right here. It's so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here at City Field, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. The center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. He swings and fouls one off. And he'll one. And that one fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. On a line, base hit. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good right balance. Here. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive now. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Starling Marte. And a pitch. There's a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. In the air, center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Man at first. Here's Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor. The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. Oh, one down. Good eye in that spot. Nimmo at first, one gone. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch is inside, and now three and one. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. And the right-hander deals. Run around the move. Rips one to right. That's a base hit. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. 
And a right hander back to work. There's the strike. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Next pitch is downstairs. Runners are at the corners, one away. Double play ball to second. There's one. Back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. Through eight full, it's the Mets four and the Nationals two. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen, and he'll work on holding this lead. Top of the ninth, and now up for Washington, Alcides Escobar. And he deals. Going one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now one gone in the ninth. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Next to hit for the Nats, Michael Franco. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. The 0 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch is popped up. Alonso makes the ground, and there's two down. So two down now, and here is Victor Robles as the Nationals are down to their final out. In there, and it's 0-1. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. Gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. The 0-2. And fouled off. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Back in Washington, D.C. We're in the eighth with one man out. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton here in the booth. And here's the catcher, James McCann. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Strike one. Lifted in the air, right center field.
He'll score on the sack fly, and it's 1-0. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. Here's Brandon Nimmo. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. The wind of the pitch. That one the other way. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here it comes. Marte stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next one just misses. Now one and two. Line to left, and that one gets down. Fair ball, and that extends the inning. Goes to third, in there. And now they've got runners at the corners with two outs. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Eric Betty won't go any further, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming up. We'll be back in a minute. Kyle Finnegan gets the call from the pen. He's making his second appearance of the season. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. The pitch. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And that one lifted in the air center field. Stevenson makes the catch, and that'll do it. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets one, and the Nationals nothing. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Cesar Hernandez up to the plate. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. That's in there. And that is strike one. And the righty deals. And strike two. I wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they are into it. They're trying to will his claw back into this ball game. The pitch. Stays alive. The tying run at the plate. And that one fouled off. Out to short, Lindor over to pick it up. Lindor on to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Down the third baseman, Michael Franco. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. Foul ball. But why to kick the pitch? And a foul ball. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Looking to get the tying run on base. Got him. Two away. Here's the catcher, Riley Adams. The wind of the pitch. 
There's a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. McCann makes the catch, and that'll do it. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mets one, and the Nationals nothing. We go to the ninth. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a pitch. Ball one there. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Austin Bolt getting ready to go. Machado warming up as well. Next pitch downstairs, and it's 2-0. Oh. Well, you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Next pitch misses, 3-1. and one. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Mark Canna up now for the Mets. Here comes a the pitch. There's the strike. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. And it's one and one. Next pitch just misses. Two and two. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Two two. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split-finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. Eduardo Escobar now at the plate. The pitch. And that one clips the corner. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And there's a foul ball. Way inside, gets out of the way. Bounce to the right. Tosses the first. Escobar out of the play. So now here's the Mets DH. Dominic Smith for the fourth time tonight. And a pitch. That one misses. And that's ball one. Next one misses two and oh. No, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. The 2-0 is in for a strike. The 2-1. Foul ball there. Now it's filled up. Out 
at the belt and fires. So now two on and two outs. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Yeah. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Maybe losing command a little bit after the wall. Next pitch, not even close. Next offering is in for a strike. Alonso at second. Smith on at first with two down. And he grounds one to the right side. Fires over to first. And that'll do it. And 9 1 2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the night. It's the Mets one and the Nationals nothing. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Back now is it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Yadiel Hernandez. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. And he deals. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. And a pitch. And just misses with that one. That's a really good take. Got him! And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, but no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Alcides Escobar digging in for the Nationals. The pitch. And that one pulled foul. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. One down, base is empty. And the one-two misses to even the count. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Only one out remaining for the Mets. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated, and then this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So digging in, Andrew Stevenson. And that's in there for strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Home team down a run. Here the last half of inning number nine. Pitch inside, and the count is two and two. Got him, and that's the ball game.
baseball fans and welcome. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the New York Mets taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chami. Well, it's time for our player spotlight singing. Jeff McNeil is a player to watch for this team this year. He sure is, Boog. And even though he's already looking like a key contributor, he's still a young player. But most people around this organization think he's going to keep getting better and better. And I expect him to take a leap forward in his development this season. He could make a big difference for this team. So I'm excited to watch him play live in this one and see what he's got. Back here in Philadelphia, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, the second baseman. Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil. The right-hander back to work. In for a strike, and that's strike one. Left-hand hitter waits. There's a swing and a miss. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Excellent arm action on that two-strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One out. Jeff McNeil stands in. Here you go. Let it fly. The batter number one. Second base. Jeff McNeil. The pitch. That's off the mark. One and oh. Next offering is in for a strike. The other way makes the grab and that'll end the inning. And the Mets go down one, two, three. Score remains deadlocked at one. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Hey, you got it. No one better. Here we go. The batter number one. Second baseman. Jeff McNeil. Wheeler back to work. On the inside corner for a strike. And now the 01. In the air, left field. He's got it. And that is out number three. Mets strand one, but they still lead it 3 2. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the seventh, Johan Camargo at the dish. I wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they are into it, they're trying to will. His claw back into this ball game. And no throw. He's into first easily. So a runner at third, two men out. And now the right fielder, Garrett Stubbs. One for three. Bunting gets it down to first. Davis. And they put the tag on him for the out. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Mets three and the Phillies two. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Hit weakly on the ground. McNeil handles. No play, that's an infield single. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. So up next, Garrett Stubbs. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, on the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. 
but no throw and they'll have runners at the corners with one out. Singing, you hate to see it. Jeff McNeil wasn't able to do much of the dish in this one. Yeah, I know he didn't, Boog, and it gets back to what we talked about earlier. I think it's so important that he's a contributor to this team's success as the season progresses. And we didn't see it tonight, but you know he's got so much to offer. So we'll look for him to bring it more as we move forward. Thank <laughs> you. 